YouTube. I wanted to uh, share a little bit of information for you about an issue I was having with my Cub Cadet. It's an LTX 1040, which is the Lowe's Home Depot model of the Cub Cadet. I think they're made by MTD. Actually, I know they're made by MTD. Anyway, my tractor would barely move when it was cold. Um, when I say cold, 50 degrees, 55 degrees. And if you would pump the pedal, uh, it would eventually start to to move um, to move a little bit. And then once you warmed up, it was okay. So this is considered an automatic transmission. It is not a hydro. Um, and I, I learned a little bit about uh, about these when I was troubleshooting this uh, this transmission. But as you can see there, it says automatic. So uh, over the years, I've done some oil changes on transmissions and has fixed the problem of, uh, of of tractors not moving. So I figured I'd give this one a shot. So I removed the transmission out of this thing, and I'm sorry this is not a how-to video. Uh, however, it's not hard to pull the transmission out. It took me about 15 minutes. And this transmission does not have any oil in it. This transmission has uh, grease in it. So since it's not a hydro, there's no oil. So there's no oil to change. However, uh, what is interesting on these um, automatic transmissions, it has a what looks like a centrifugal clutch that um, you would normally see on a uh, mini bike or a, a go-kart. And uh, they are extremely reliant on good pulleys and good belts. If you have uh, a bad pulley or a bad belt, they don't work or they don't work good. So uh, short story long, I cleaned the, trans the transmission, power washed it, got it nice and clean. I cleaned all the pulleys and ran some 400 grit sandpaper into the grooves and also cleaned the belt. Now this thing has two belts, two dry belts going to it. One dry belt comes from the engine back to the transmission and then it has another belt that goes uh, from the transmission to a the centrifugal clutch uh, and an idler pulley. So I cleaned, uh, I cleaned that belt very good with uh, actually a um, wire brush. Uh, I should have replaced it and I probably will over the winter time. Uh, but I cleaned that belt up and I cleaned the dry belt up as much as I could. It's, it's a very long one obviously. The uh, clutch uh, dry belt is very short. And uh, cleaned, up, cleaned the pulleys very good. Uh, hit them with some brake cleaner, make sure there wasn't any oil or anything uh, that was causing a, a belt slippage and sanded down the grooves. I sanded the uh, pulley grooves with um, a 400 grit sandpaper and I put it back together and I have no issues to this point. So I think that that solved the problem. Uh, if you're having this problem with this tractor, which uh, from what I have read online, there seems to be quite a few people having issues with uh, slippage and not being able to go uphill and things like that, my recommendation, replace the belts and take a good look at those uh, pulleys. Pulleys can look great, however, the grooves might be worn down uh, too smooth and uh, they would need to be replaced also. So take it for what it's worth. Uh, that's what I found on mine. Have a good day.